All right, this time we're going to look at interest and money. So there's two different ways that we can work at interest. Remember, there's simple interest and compound interest. So let's start with simple interest. So simple interest is just P, R, T. So it's P times R times T. P is the principal amount, okay? So principal amount, which means the original amount, okay? So however much money you start with. R is the rate of interest, but it's not just the rate of interest, it's as a decimal. Well, that's just a bit terrible. <laughs> Sorry about that. And T is the time. Okay, so let's say for argument's sake, you took out a $5,000 loan, uh, the interest rate is 6% and it's for three years. So the simple interest formula tells us we use the original amount, which in this case is five grand. We times it by the rate as a decimal. So 6% as a decimal is 0 0.06, and we times it by the amount of time, which is three years. So if you type this into a calculator, you will find out that it's $900 interest. So if you took out a $5,000 loan over three years with 6% interest, you'd have to pay an extra 900 bucks on it. Now this only tells you how much interest you're paying. If the question says what was the total payment or how much have you paid back altogether, well there's the original amount plus the interest, so altogether you've paid back $5,900. I mean that's the way loans work I guess, they're not giving you money for free. So let's talk about compound interest on this page. So compound interest is slightly more tricky. Remember the amount that you have to pay is the principal amount, so the P is the same thing, 1 plus R, R is the same thing, N um, is instead of T, I don't really know why they say N instead of T, because um, it's still time. So let's use the same information, so let's use this again, okay, we'll show you how they're slightly different. See most banks you work on compound interest, they don't work on simple interest, because simple interest is often cheaper, but it might not be, it depends how long the loan is for. Anyway, let's look. So the amount that you have to pay is principal amount. We start with $5,000. 1 plus R, well the rate is 0 0.06, still as a decimal, and the time is 3. Now remember this is to the power of. You've got to be careful when pressing buttons on your calculator. If you just stick a 3 at the end, totally different number. So if you type this into your calculator, you will find that you get this. Now, as you can see, this is about $55 more. Uh, over three years, it's really not very much money, but they, if, you know, if they charge that much money to everyone, they end up making millions of dollars, which is how banks work. So compound interest does work very differently. And the reason that they sort of use this is because it compounds over time. And if you let your loan last for a really long time, you can actually end up paying an awful lot more money. Or you could end up paying less over time because the principal amount tends to diminish over time. You don't really need to know that. Don't worry about it. Anyway, these are how the two different things work, okay? So make sure that you remember the two different formulas. So this one up here is simple interest formula and your compound interest formula. All right, so have a go at doing a practice of a couple of those.